Cowboys offense. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive. The last in the double-digit snaps. You need a score here, not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Uh, Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Prescott looks to throw on first. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now a shot to right off to Pollard. And that's the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Here's Prescott. Flush to his right. And out of bounds right around the 20. It is certainly becoming rarer by the year to see your franchise guy take a hit like that. The defender couldn't believe he had a shot to light him up. So when you take off and run, you have to make sure you can slide, get out of bounds, anything. Just don't leave yourself open to hits like that. Prescott on third and two. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, a pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. What did you say? Actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion. I can get this. It's two yards. I know I can get this. I got three or four setups. I know. And the move from Mike McCarthy is going to be to keep the offense on the field here on fourth down. They're going for it. Two options. Here's Prescott. All right, we're back up to the line. And we're running his verticals. They go for on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. Prescott now. Give me money. I was already ready to run that verticals. Already ready to run that verticals. Keep playing at six. Huh? Mm-hmm. That's why I'm just trying to maintain positions right now. No matter what he plays, just trying to play it deep. The Charger drive about to get going. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. And he's going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The 
Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense when we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? On second down, it's Pollard. He takes this for three to the 29. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. <laughs> Here's third and seven. Okay, let's get some good calls. Go, Left side, the lamb. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and ten at the 47. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. They go back to Pollard on second down. And good work there in open space. He's got this all the way down now to the 32. 85 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Here's Pollard again. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. We're there to make the tackle, Khalil Mack. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here to complete. Down inside the 15, shot of the 10. And now they're in the hurry up. Pollard will take it up the gun. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. <sighs> they try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Let's just get a piece of it. He was right up in Just his get a piece of it. <laughs> I'm going for it here either way. For the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. You say take the points. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're showing. All right, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. On third down. On third down. Oh. of a yard and it brings up Ford. They went with the run pass option and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options but when they read their keys and play correctly. All right, we're watching for drags. I need to be a little more patient this half because last half I caught a lot of that defense before I got the play. The Charger drive about to get going. Mm-hmm. 
themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I lead back. A good action to this point in the third. He's passing here. Three point game, second and ten. Herbert now. Ah. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. This is what it like it's like to live without digs. Josh Palmer, seventy five yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, I had it called. I knew he was going but I just remember as a player, but I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine. All right. No problem, just gonna go get it back. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get a little piece of it right here. Try to get to like third and four, third and five. Or we could just get a first down and let this go to the fourth quarter and run my offense until the clock is up. Because that's what I'm thinking now. I can really, five minutes, you know, you've seen me make a drive last five minutes. Trip offset vertical. Yeah, Prescott is gonna change things up here. So we just gonna play. Ooh, I missed. I had it and I missed. I called it and I missed. Mm, I'm upset with myself for that one. Okay, let's try to get behind these backers there. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. And they're going to speed things up here. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Now 
a give here to Pollard. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. All right, so we run in two and blitz. Second down at six now. Lamb will go in motion. And turns into man. Prescott to throw it. Oh, what kind of throw is that? Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. <laughs> Running on first down, Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play with these guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And that will be incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, I should not stop them at all. I'm going back to it. But find him. Find him. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. They snap it to Herbert. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Yeah. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. Oh, trail. About set for this next drive. But the Cowboys offense. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Oh, that's P.I. And this is intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Chargers are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And sometimes things come together exactly like you want. It's not just been the volume of carries he's had in this contest, it's been the production as well. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. So he is able to turn that into positive yardage, but I think it's fair to say that those are not the shots you're wanting your quarterback to have to absorb. And he has to know sometimes when to say when. You have to know when to give yourself up, and let's face it, not easy for these guys to do because they're competitors as well. But sometimes you do learn your lesson the hard way, as he did there. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now, as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he is caught. And he will have a charger first down, and that should be the one that gets him to the finish line. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down, and he'll get it down here to the 43. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. Another run on second down. Trying to cover up. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. So 
this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe.
Chargers taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. As Cameron Dicker set to get us started, and we are underway from Cincinnati. Charlie Jones now from his end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. There's no doubt that the defense has to hold their poise after that type of a big return against them. And the only person probably more upset than them, the return guy. He didn't get it all the way to the end zone. Going oh, that far, you know he's really upset. Give it to Mixon. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage against traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? They'll send the tight end in motion left. Another try for Mixon. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a must in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath go, stuff. Go. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They'll run with Mixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon taking it in from a yard out. And the Bengals' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive is six on the scoreboard. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Chargers now with a 
first and ten at their 25-yard line. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Just a yard of the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Oh, indeed we do. Entree opens the way you want to go, huh? It's us. It's us to the crib. Well, we went from scoreless to 13 nothing in a hurry. First, their offense had the touchdown, and now the defense comes through with one. You can't get a better one-two punch than that. Off the touchdown, offense by getting one on defense. If they keep that effort up, you'll take the other side run out of this one very quickly. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Not about to change up much. The Charger drive about to get going. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 nothing already as they come up first and 10. Resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Burrow going to give this to Mixon, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Burrow hooking up with Higgins for a Bengal first down. <laughs> out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. I'm finna just let the clock run. See if we can get a cheap first down right here. Now 
second and four. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Back to Mixon on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. They'll set up the Rough in the passer. Oh, a loop of contact. I am tripping. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And just shutting him off there. He's to midfield. Still going past the 30. And he will score. Touchdown, Chargers. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Turn is Jones from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Oh, I can't have this one more touchdown. So. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there's never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. 42 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff, and when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't, but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of okay. It's starting to creep up a little bit. Here we go. That's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Again, it's Mixon. He'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here we go. And the Bengals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Here's Burrow. Flushed out right. example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm and he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. Burrow going to get this out to Chase. And he will go out right near the 35 yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. Yep. Still blitzing. And just a few inches left. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. 
from the gun to give to Mixon. And he works it to the 30-yard line. Right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now it's Burrow. He gets this one to Burrow. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. 11, 11, 11. Good girl. He will push his way down to about the 14. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Inside handoff to Mixon. And here down the six-yard line. The first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Well, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know no, you're no, seeing no. what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage 11, 11, and dominating 11. right now on this drive. 11 mighty, 11 mighty. Got their defense wrapped. 11 Thomas. On third and one, Burrow. Got him in, it's Chase, he completes it. Touchdown! Jamar Chase on a touchdown throw from Joe Burrow. And the Cardinals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And a lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger Drive about to get going. Across the 40-yard line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Herbert going to change the play here. to throw now on first down that's again complete to Palmer and he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35 they're going to need to get up and set in a hurry running on first down Eckler five yards on the carry good pickup on first down now a timeout taken Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here's a second and five. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. This is caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. Still going. Damn. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This
This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Charles Davis operating gun getting set for quarter number three here. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half and they trail as we get back underway. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. All in all, pretty manageable deficit, Charles, here as they start this third quarter offensively when you consider the fact that in the first two quarters, they had two costly turnovers. I think you laid it out there perfectly, partner. Very tough to hold a lead going into the break if you continue to hand it over on multiple drives. Yeah, and obviously, Charles, it would be very tough to climb back into the game if those turnovers continue. I would say borderline impossible. You keep turning it over, I don't know how you make up a deficit. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and nine. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He's going to float this one deep right side. He's got it at the 15. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Josh Palmer, 64 yards. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And they're within seven now at 28-21. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and a yard. Mixing up the middle. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. When you see cover two, what do you do? Three. 
to not play too much with the blitz. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback. And still try and cover downfield. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. To do a pretty offense versus his own defense. Find the holes where guys are available. And put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And that's out quickly to chase. They get him to the ground line on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. I see some guys in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here's a give to Mixon. And they're knocking on the hill now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10 yard line. 68 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Throw that second complete. That's Boyd. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Here's second and goal operating from the eight yard line. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Touchdown, Bengals! God damn it. God damn it. you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two touchdown lead right because you've taken that time off as you noted which means they couldn't get you off the field you ran your playbook the way you wanted to and you gave your defense some rest what a big time drive in that situation Here's McPherson now to send it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Charger drive about to get going. They started on the ground with Eckler. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. And quickly they get to the line. Herbert now. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Draw play, it's Eckler. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. 
There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Here's Herbert now on second down. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Gerald Everett, 27 yards. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you want to be a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say, consistently. Right? You don't need the big shots downfield. But make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down. still have the lead. Now try to eat some clock with Mixon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 81 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down and his carries tonight they're getting up there so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable i would agree with that understandable every now and then sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action but other times you say okay they got him on that one we'll come back to him in another carry Second down, here's Mixon. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. He's going to have the hook up here to Chase. And he will have a Bengals first down. And it's celebration time on that sideline. And they've earned it. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection.
to Mixon. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Here we go, here we go. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he is going to have a goal to his first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Okay. North versus South in the state of California were underway between the Niners and Chargers. All right, all right, let's go. Returning from his end zone is Ray ah. Cloud. And he returns this to the 22. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. Here we go, here we go. 
They'll bring a receiver in motion left. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now a quick throw as they get it. Yep. I took the Niners. And he's still running that blitz too. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now too. Play action. Oh, Brock, how did you miss? set up to throw it here. They'll get this into the hands of Ayu. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. to the ground attack here it's McCaffrey and a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35 13 yards there and a Niner first you were telling me this yesterday this is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive establish the ground game yeah remember our conversation we were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly it's a big man's game it's not necessarily size he's talking about playing some big boy football line up get leverage knock people down and establish the run Pick up there at 22. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49 touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. 14 yards, and the 49ers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Nine yards is the pick up there. They'll have a second and one. 
Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The second down at six. Eckler now between the tackles. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball three, and it's fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a jumper on downs. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. In motion, the tight end. Purdy now on second down. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15. He's using Derwin James way too much. 36 yards on the play. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field. And how about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield, a combination of talent, and toughness to go into the briar patch so how about this for field position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10 and they'll send the tight end in motion here McCaffrey running up the middle and he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard but not much on that run Charles no, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now second and nine. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. 
47 yards rushing for him now to this point. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now they send the tight end in motion left. Off the option, that's complete. Touchdown for the Warriors. George Kittle from 30 yards out. And the 49ers go up by two touchdowns. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. The extra point try now for Moody. And it's good to make it 14-0. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying to have a chance. I'm starting to get there. I, I think I'm starting to read it a little better, Coach. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Josh Palmer, 76 yards. And the Chargers have cut it back with him. <laughs> they were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get him in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah, no, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. it. Usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. set to get this drive underway well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember Charles drives one and two both ended in the end zone yeah and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own but I like the way that they've started the way that they're going about doing things right now they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown and that would be a crushing blow to the defense this one caught by Kittle. Room to maneuver at the 35. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown. That's a dot. That's a dot. Feeling it. 
So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Looks for verticals. I'm going to Keenan Allen again. Nothing crazy. Just going to try to see maybe get some yards because I got three. of a yard there to start out that leads to a second and 11. Purdy now to throw off the play action looking deep for Jennings oh, this is taken in. It's just post up and go get it I guess perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry we'll see yeah, the 42 Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Charger drive about to get going. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go. Here. Good catch. The football that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators they just don't have it right <laughs> you're trying to get it all back you know you can't get it back in one drive but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested try and create a little bit of momentum a little bit of a spark and then maybe that'll carry over that throw into the arms of Allen and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory 
Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first down, it's Herbert. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Second and 10 here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. Going to work this one down to about the five. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Herbert going to change the look. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And it'll be a turnover on downs. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And they'll get him down up past the 15. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever's, whatever's in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be I feel like going for it. Tried to do anything else if it would have mattered. Yeah, it's not always a wrong it's just play. Interest. When a play gets stacked up, sometimes they're just at the line of scrimmage with just too many bodies to maneuver. And as a result, now they're looking at a fourth down. Purdy on the sneak. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick out the first. And now that ends the third quarter.
So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Ayuk going to go in motion right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. On second down, McCaffrey. And yeah, they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Purdy looking to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Look at the big fella go. Touchdown, Fires. George Kittle, 67 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch hey. Moody good with the extra point. Hey. But yeah, I know he's sick right now. Especially after the way he did me in game one. I know he's sick. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Thank God for having multiple game plans. Cause I don't know what he thought. Huh? This is what happens when you have to play Marv all of summer long. You figure out people's different little favorite ones. Charger drive about to get going. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. On first and ten, Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Amber Thomas. And the Niners are going to take over at their own 41. For this defense with the interception at this point though i don't know that it's game changing i mean they've got this one in firm control and you always hear about, you know those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you could benefit from it i'm not gonna say that that happened but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game guys are always in the right spot in order to make a play the offense has had its moments too well that's a carry they have to be satisfied with and throughout this game They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. Yeah, they I'm going to turn two clock on after, after this. Keep picking up good yardage. Ooh, very nice. To the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. <laughs> Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here we go. Second and 12. the god McCaffrey and great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35 yard line 93 yards now for McCaffrey it's a first down it carries like that that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here Charles in the fourth quarter yeah how about that a new set of downs clock continues to move no better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus 
of the film session that a team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. So the victory here for San Francisco. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They Coach, you're going to put in the reporting or you want me to do it? The team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. All right, let me put this in here. No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked.